bright lights, big city. We are in Las Vegas, Nevada, the fight capital of the world. What better place to splash onto the scene? Esports Boxing Club, the brand new boxing video game launching later this year. We are at the Venom World Headquarters. My name is Todd Grisham. Not only am I the voice of ESBC, I'm also the vice president of business acquisitions. I'm signing so many fighters, you won't believe it. We have over 100 fighters signed to ESBC as of now, and we're adding new fighters each and every day. We'll talk more about those fighters in a minute, but right now, why don't we focus on the game itself? This is the first video game released on major consoles in over 10 years, and boy, will it deliver. 8K camera scans, the best graphics in fight game history. Look at the footwork, look at the flow, look at the motion, look at some of these knockouts. This is unparalleled in the history of fight sports video games. And how about the world's strongest man? He's a boxer now and will be in the game as well. No one's gonna be able to hit harder than that guy. Much more coming next week on the ESBC game as we launch the first ever gameplay trailer for Esports Boxing Club on our social media. So the game looks cool, but you're wondering, which fighters do we have in the game? Well, I'm about to tell you. Here we go. One of the pound for pound best fighters in the world today. They call him Bud. You can call him in the next ESBC video game. Terrence Crawford, pound for pound. He will deliver a beatdown coming up later this year on eSports Boxing Club. And a man that owns a part of the 168 Super Middleweight Championship. You've seen him on PBC, Caleb Plant, who's hoping for a showdown later this year with Canelo Alvarez. And how about the clubhouse leader for the knockout of the year in 2021, Oscar Valdez Jr. for what he did to Miguel Burchelt, a fantastic virtuoso performance. He's now a two division world champion. Hey, how's it going, everybody? This is Oscar Valdez, Mexican fighter. And I'm very excited for this new opportunity to be part of this new boxing game through ES Boxing Club. Everybody, tune in. It's going to be a great game. And now to one of the greatest boxers to ever come out of the United Kingdom. Unbelievable hand speed. The former world champion and Olympic gold medalist, Amir Khan. I think speed is 100% something which everyone knows I've got, you know, and I think my speed is probably more than 100% if you think about it because, you know, I throw punches that people don't see. I throw punches that no one's ever seen the speed of. So, you know, when it comes to speed, I don't think that there's ever been anyone as quick as me. So I'm quite lucky to have that attribute, you know, with the, I've got speed, but then I've got the movement, you know, I've got the speed, uh, stamina as well, which has to go with it because, you know, there's some fighters who will be quick in the first round. By the time the 10th for the 11th for the 12th round, they still slow down. But one thing about me, the speed's always there, you know. So, you know, it's, uh, there's good and bads. Um, uh, but one thing I know what is good on my side is the speed. I don't think no one beats that. And how about this for timing? Coming up later tonight, live on DAZN, Virgil Ortiz Jr. with the biggest fight of his young career as he takes on Maurice Hooker and the hard-hitting Texan. Virgil Ortiz Jr. is in ESBC. How about the former undisputed cruiserweight champion of the world, Alexander Usyk? He's soon to be perhaps the number one contender for the heavyweight championship of the world and will fight either Tyson Fury or Anthony Joshua. Let's keep it in Eastern Europe. How about Alexander Povetkin, the man who knocked out Dillian White last year? In fact, it was the 2020 knockout of the year. Can he do it again? The rematch is coming up in a few weeks. Alexander Povetkin in Esports Boxing Club. Staying in the heavyweight division, how about English heavyweight Joe Joyce? His future is bright, it's sky high. He needs to work on those defensive skills, but he's got the powerful punch in Esports Boxing Club. And y'all must have forgot, Roy Jones Jr. is back, baby. Perhaps the greatest light heavyweight champion in the history of boxing, former heavyweight champion Roy Jones Jr. RJJ in ESBC. And let's have a little fun. Who could forget Butterbean? The great Butterbean is an ESBC. Can't wait to see how his character turns out. This guy may be one of the strongest punchers we've got. 
Hey, we're just getting started here. I want to thank you for joining us on our ESBC Fighter Release Show. And speaking of show, how about Showtime? Sean Porter, the announcer for PBC, for NBC, and you know all about how dangerous he can be in the ring. Sean, talk to us, brother. We've all been waiting on the boxing game for at least a decade now. It's finally here. You got legends, former champions, current world champions, anybody you want on the game. Anything you can want, you can make right here on this video game. I'm excited that ESBC is bringing it to you guys really, really soon. Don't miss it. Have fun. All right, thanks, Sean. Another champion we have signed to ESBC is Josh Taylor from the United Kingdom, the super lightweight who fights Jose Ramirez in just a couple of weeks. We followed him recently as he went to the United Kingdom to be scanned into the first boxing video game in a decade. Never once thought I would be in a game ever, you know, so I say it's good. It's definitely one for the grandkids and stuff to say, look, your old granddad was in a game and busting people up, so I say it's going to be quite cool. It's good to be a part of it. There's not been one a boxing game for a long time now, so it's uh, it's good to be a part of one and uh, be in it. So yeah, it's, uh, it's cool. It's yeah. cool. Definitely get a copy and want to keep. Yeah. Hopefully they make me nice and handsome. <laughs> I think, you know, it's just it's another sort of a wee leaving your name, you know, sort of thing when you're retired boxing and things you've left your name on the mark and you're, you get this opportunity to be in a, in a video game, which uh, not a lot of people get to do, so it's a great honour to be involved in it and, uh, yeah, I can't wait to see the finished article. I think I would like it to be uh, realistic, yeah, and... Um, like get the movements right and the punches right. I think that's uh, the most important part. I think for me, I've, from what I've seen, I don't think I've got any concerns of the of the visual sort of thing. I think that that's bang on from what I've seen. Everybody, all the other characters that they've done so far, look at uh, on point, brilliant. So, yeah, I'm, uh, I'm looking forward to it. It's going to be bang on. I saw a couple of little bits of the 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 gameplay already, and uh, it looks it looks spot on. Damage now. <laughs> That's the beauty of a game. You can go put yourself against uh, uh, Sugar Ray Leonard, Ricky Hatton. But I'm in there, so that's the most important one for me. <laughs> all right, let's keep rolling on. And how about Regis Progre? He knows Josh Taylor all too well. They battled it out in an epic fight of the year contender. Regis Progre, super excited to be in ESBC. And how about Dave Rosado with all those tattoos? He's got such a unique look. And of course, he's a movie star having been in the movie Creed. He will be a great addition to ESBC. And how about my good friend, Chris Algieri, who made me promise to say that he will be the most attractive looking fighter in the game. Do with that information what you will. But he is, of course, the former junior welterweight champion of the world. And now to the two-time middleweight world champion, Daniel Jacobs. Not only is he one of the world's great fighters, his story is certainly one of the greatest in boxing history. Let's hear more from the Miracle Man. Uh, it is even a miracle for me to even be alive and to still be doing what I love, which is the sport of boxing. Obviously, me surviving cancer, uh, me being paralyzed and having a second chance at life and being able to come back and be on a video game, I think that's very inspiring and should be supported. So all the fans out there, I appreciate your support, but play with the Miracle Man because miracles happen. How can you not love and respect the Miracle Man, Daniel Jacobs? Now, just last weekend, I was fortunate enough to be able to call perhaps the 2021 Fight of the Year. Chocolatito versus Juan Francisco Estrada. That's right, El Gallo from Mexico and Chocolatito from Nicaragua. They combine to throw over 2,000 punches and you can relive the fight or have their trilogy right here on eSports Boxing Game. Chocolatito, talk to me. Estoy super feliz, muy contento de pertenecer y es decir, a los juegos de boxeo. Ya saben que si me escogen, van a ganar. Y si van en contra mía, lo voy a hacer que pierdan también. Chocolatito González.
Again, we are here in the fight capital of the world in Las Vegas, Nevada, at the Venom World Training Headquarters, and perhaps their number one boxing signing is Jorge Linares. You can see him over my shoulder. The former three-time, three-division world champion also speaks three languages. His native Spanish from Venezuela, English, and Japanese. Mina Concha, Jorge Linares, this four-time world champion. And here he is in studio, Sergio Mora. I care about him. I worry about him. I drag him around from city to city. Thank you for being in Las Vegas, my friend. Hey, look, I'm excited to be here. When you first told me about this, I thought, listen, man, this is going to be your fire festival. You're the white job rule. <laughs> but I got to see the graphics. I got to see the people that are involved, the fighters, the movement. You know I care about movement. That's what sold me into it. So listen, once I saw the names, once I saw the legends, I said, bring it on. I mean, look at the names you have, Todd. You got the greatest fighter that ever lived, Sugar Ray Robinson, Rocky Marciano, the Browns bomber, Joe Lewis, Jack Dempsey, the first black heavyweight champion Jack Johnson. The list goes on. But Todd, you haven't talked about the biggest name of them all, the greatest of all time, the legend himself. Bigger than Sugar Ray Robinson. Bigger. Who is it? You're looking at him. There's only one Sergio Mora. We've got more legends. Who's up next? Yes, the Mexican legend himself, Juan Manuel Marquez, the man that has one of the most iconic knockouts of all time against Manny Pacquiao, who he fought four times. Welcome to ESPC. Hi everyone, my name is Juan Manuel Marquez and I feel very excited and I'm proud to be part of this ESBC great boxing video game. See you soon. How about Tim Bradley Jr.? He had a war with Juan Manuel Marquez as well. He's had so many fantastic wars. Tim Bradley Jr., as tough as they come. You see him on ESPN Boxing Broadcast. You will now see him on eSports Boxing Club. Staying with the Legends theme, how about Ricky Hatton? There's only one Ricky Hatton. Straight out of the UK, welcome to eSports Boxing Club. So we've talked about the Legends. We've talked about some of the current champions. But how about some of the future stars? We've got them, including the knockout machine himself, Edgar Berlanga. What's up, ladies and gentlemen? This is EB the Chosen One, a.k.a. The Monster. And I just want to inform all my fans around the world, listen, ladies and gentlemen, I, I just signed to the biggest boxing video game in boxing history, ESBC Boxing. Listen, download me. The Monster, 16 and over, 16 knockouts all in the first round. My rankings better be high. I want everything to be at 100. My speed, my power, the agility, the foot movement, the endurance. You know, it's gonna be something special, man. You know, and uh, I just need everybody to download this video game, man. It's gonna be on all platforms. You know, shout out to once again ESBC Boxing, esportsboxingclub.com for all info you could get for the video game. Download it, it should be out very soon, man. I'm very excited for all my fans around the world. I love you guys. And download me, EB the Chosen One, AK the Monster, baby. Let's get it. Can he keep that knockout streak alive? Edgar Berlanga fighting again on April 24th on ESPN. And you can catch him later this year on Esports Boxing Club. Another young gun fighting out of Mexico, coming out of nowhere to win the junior middleweight championship of the world. Jaime Munguia with that high knockout ratio. He'll be a super fun character in ESBC. From Mexico to China, Zhu Khan has captivated that country's attention, and he'll do so in ESBC as well. This is one of the great young fighters in all the world today. Can't wait to see his character on the new video game. Will you have what it takes to win a world championship? As you know, the green belt is the most famous boxing championship belt the world has ever seen. Hey, what's up? My name is Mauricio Sulaiman. I am the president of the WBC, the Green Belt, and I am so excited to be part of the ESBC boxing game. It's coming up. You've been waiting for a long time, and I'm sure that you're going to enjoy it very much. I cannot wait to have great interaction, and I see you competing for the green and gold. Take care, enjoy, and I hope to see you soon in the ESBC boxing game. You'll have the chance to win the WBC title on Esports Boxing Club. 
Well, that'll do it for our first ever ESBC fighter release show. But don't worry, we'll be back in two weeks with a whole new slate of fighters that we've signed to the game. And trust me on this one, some big names will be announced. Also in two weeks, we'll update you on our female fighter roster, which is growing day by day. We'll also tell you about the trainers we've signed and the cut men we've signed. This game is all immersive in boxing. You create a character, you sign a trainer, you sign a cut man, and you go and try and win the WBC Championship of the World. Thanks for joining me. My name is Todd Grisham. We'll see you in a couple weeks. And don't forget, on the ESBC Game Instagram page next week, we will be launching the first ever gameplay trailer. Keep a look out for that. I'm Todd Grisham, and I'll see you next time. And hey, by the way, we've already signed so many fighters. How about Kelly Pavlik? How about Michael Nunn? How about Diego Pacheco? Josh Franco? Israel Vasquez? Oscar Bravo? John Monti? 